Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here with a review of the Eco Worthy or Eco Worthy power bank that comes with a solar panel and three lights and all the little hookups you need. This is a cool little system, very lightweight. It weighs a little bit less than my Jack Ray 160, which is also pretty light. Of course, it doesn't have the power capacity of the Jack Ray 160, but I didn't buy it for that. I bought this as more so for the lights and the stability to hook up small little things. You cannot use this for a CPAP. Let me get that out of the way. This is like a very small 2600-ish uh, or 26,000-ish MAH. This one is, it's very lightweight, easy to use, uh, but it's definitely great for an emergency situation, especially with the lights. If you hook up one light, it lasts like forever. I'll put the actual stats of how long it's supposed to last, but one light hooked up, it will last forever. This definitely be great in blackouts. It'd be great to take with you, say, if you have a cabin or something like that and you want to take lights out there, especially with the little solar panel that actually really does work and did fully charge this two different on two different occasions with ease um, the lights work great you hook all three up it's it's really bright i would use one light and very rare would i ever use two and it would definitely be like a light clipped in my tent or outside while i'm cooking or something or just one extra light while in the dark i really like this setup it was pretty cheap i'll leave a link in the description for it actually on amazon but I definitely would recommend it, especially for those livid areas that are prone to blackouts to have something that's small, fairly cheap, it can be recharged, and um, easy to use. Anyway, thank you for watching my videos and enjoy this. And also, I want to apologize later on in the video when I do a night test. There's a clicking sound that is my sprinkler um, sensor in my garage. I'm so used to it. I didn't even pay attention to it when I was actually shooting the video. But I really want to get this video done because I've been procrastinating on it. So I'll apologize for that if it gets on anybody's nerves. But the main thing is, is to show you guys what it looks like in the dark and how it operates in like a pitch, ba pitch black, like say in your garage or in your house, if your power went out in the middle of the night and how you could use it. So this is it. The little power bank is very useful, pretty cheap, lots of accessories. I can um, do, uh, I can recharge my phone, you know, a variety of things, power banks even, you know, it's a good, it's good to go. And also while it was charging on solar, I was able to plug my stuff in and charge, charge it off the power bank while it was using the solar uh, panel to actually charge up the actual power bank itself. The lantern's fairly bright. It's definitely, definitely a good backup. And the little green light that it has on it that stays on in the dark is actually really good. So you can actually locate where it's at when you have it on. So there you go. Enjoy the review. I'll leave a link in the description for the O-Polar fan. I have two of these and one of them I use every night to help me sleep and they recharge the rechargeable have a blue led backlight that you can turn off if you want to these little things are really rock stars i've never had any problems with them and the rechargeable battery is an actual 18650 i think it is battery that's easily replaceable so there'll be a link in the description for this as you can see i'm using it with the actual solar panel our solar generator itself uh, but there'll be a link
talking kind of low, I apologize. It's like uh, 11 o'clock at night. I gotta stay up, I have night shift tomorrow, so I stay up the night before. So I was like, let me shoot the video what it looks like in the dark. Um, I'm in my garage, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, hook the lights up. And as I said in the other videos, if you hook just one light up, it's like lasts a really long time. I'll put the information in the description on how long they last, but it's like a really long time. I'll do one, then I'll do two, then I'll do three. And they come with little hooks, just like that. And if you see right there, then you can hook it anywhere. So we're gonna connect them up and turn the lights out and see what they look like. So you can see that's one light. It's pretty bright, right? And that's how I would connect it up to my car, my SUV, if I was camping with it. I would not have the actual power bank sitting right there. I'd have like my chair and stuff sitting on the side of the actual power bank. Uh, sitting on the side of the SUV with my little table and it'd probably be sitting right there. So, but it's pretty darn bright. There's two lights. So there we go, we got two lights right here. As you can see the power bank by the green light is sitting all the way down there. Like I said, the wires are super long on this. But that's two lights right there. Okay, here is all three lights. And I'll take a picture of it. Uh, I'll do a, um, a little short video completed in my camping trip of me actually having them set up outside. But honestly, they're really bright. Yeah, they're really bright. If my, t if it wasn't so high up, actually, I'm gonna try real quick to get it, just one of them up. I'm gonna use one of them because more than likely I'll just use one of these lights to conserve battery power. And that's usually adequate because I have other little lanterns I use too. All right, I got one up on my garage door opener. opener. Um, I do not want um, to put them all up there because that wouldn't make any sense. So that's what it looks like with one light. But you can clearly see how long the uh, wire actually is because it could reach up there. And that's probably about, I'm six foot, so seven foot eight foot around eight foot I believe so it's pretty long cord actually and the good thing is the clicker to turn it on and off is all the way down there let me walk across you real quick so everyone gets an idea how bright it is with just two lights an idea of the lantern on it. This is the lantern built into this. So you can see it's in my hand, fully pitch black in here and the lights are on. This is actually really good. Somebody, they probably, my neighbors are probably like, oh shoot, who's in his garage? Yeah. There you go. Hey everyone, well overall, I'm really liking this little power bank. Um, it didn't really cost that much either. There'll be a link in the description. I'm apologizing if I'm speaking low. Like I said, it's like over after 11 p.m. tonight and I'm in my garage so it could echo upstairs and you know, everyone's sleeping besides me, the night out who's gotta do night shift tomorrow. So as I prepare for this night, this night shift, this camping trip I got coming up in a few days, um, this power bank will definitely be going with me. And when I do my video, I'll make sure to get a video of me actually using this, um, within my camping trip but i like it because it's small it's lightweight i can use it with the blue eddy if i want to take the big boy with me on a camping trip which i will this time because i'm taking uh it's me my spouse uh my son and our friend she's going with us too so i'll take the big boy and i'll take the jackery too we're taking two suvs and I'm taking this power bank too. And it will definitely, it's gonna get used. Trust me on that. I don't really necessarily um, need the three lights. 
I don't have a real reason to use them. The one light though is just so perfect because I know it lasts a long time while I can still be charging my phone or something on it like that. It can be used as a lantern, the power bank itself. But I know it lasts a long time and it's cheap. So when I don't want to take the Blue Eddy, I can, I'm going to take my little Jackery 160. I'll take the Jackery 160 and this little guy too. And boom, I'm good. And one or two of my little little uh, Anchor or Midi or Mighty uh, power banks with me too. You know, the little ones um, take with me to, you know, when you're hiking or whatever. Works perfect. Oh, and I will not plug this in the charge yet. I already tested it with the solar panel, as you saw earlier in the video. Of um, I already tested it and fully charged it with the actual solar panel. So the solar panel is legit. It fully charged it after I ran it down. So when I go to charge it up again tomorrow, when I wake up, um, it's going to be the solar panel. It is not getting plugged into anything. So all in all, I really like it. The construction, the plastic's a little on the weaker side, but I baby my stuff like this. I wouldn't be slamming it around or anything like that. This is more so for that for the lights and just to plug little uh, stuff in, especially to use this within my tent or light too. I like it. I'm very satisfied with it. This was not a sponsored video. I just picked it up. Anyway, this is Frugal Panda from the garage <laughs> this time, but you saw how it worked. Uh, you got an idea of what it looks like in a pitch black um, garage in the middle of the night. So I definitely would use this in a power outage too. Very, very satisfied, everyone. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. This is Frugal Panda.